folks, I got something really special to the second gear and the acceleration is so good. Ah, oh, I got something very special here today. This reminds me of my uh, Suzuki Jimny 4x4, my last 4x4 which I owned many many years ago. Except this one's slightly bigger with a little bit more power. 2.4 litre 4 cylinder petrol engine, only 116 bhp, 191 newton meters of torque, 191 I think if I'm not mistaken. But ah, oh, hello Nissan Terrano from 2002. Do you all remember the Nissan Terrano? I love the Nissan Terrano. Actually, I, you know what I love the most? I like the Nissan Patrol. Do you remember that huge mother of a 4x4? Four, four four? But this is a bona fide 4x4. Four four. Yes, and it reminds me so much of, a, of my last 4x4 four four that uh, it's like an upgrade. You know what I mean? Like how I upgraded from a Corolla AE92 to a Corona. Yeah, so this is like, a, this is like my upgrading from a Jimny to a to a bigger slightly more comfortable and plush 4x4 now no i've not bought this car yet but i'm test i'm test driving it with the possible intention of buying it so i'm gonna take this off yeah i'm in the car alone so it's okay with the possible intention of buying it because it is so nice i have not seen a Tirano like this in a very very long time it's a 2.4 liter engine so rotax is not that cheap yeah rotax is about and my yeah, it just dropped I'm sorry if you're looking at my crotch right now and because I'm driving I can't I can't redo it so just give me a second okay right done so where was I yes it reminds me so much of a Suzuki Jimny just a lot bigger on the inside uh, a lot more space for passengers if I ever carry anybody but this car is in such brilliant condition I had to show it to you guys I wasn't gonna actually make a video of it but since it was loaned to me uh, another one of the situations where the seller said why don't you just drive it around for a little while and uh, if you like it let me know let's uh, talk so no price has been actually uh, suggested yet but I checked Muda and uh, prices for Toranos depending on condition can run anywhere from 8,000 ringgit to about 17,000 ringgit all depending on condition and I honestly believe I have found one in absolutely amazing condition oh this car is so nice now the seller was very forthright he said for his specifications uh, get it painted that's one thing and it needs two new front shocks that's it paint job and two new front shocks now could that possibly be this? that raw that rawness and because it's a 2.4 I, I could go up from a standstill I could move off from a standstill in second gear oh this thing is quick Okay, it doesn't feel that, you know, it doesn't look that quick, but it's pretty quick. I mean, it's a Nissan engine, for God's sake. And uh, although it's only got 116 PS or 116 BHP, 119 PS, and uh, just 191 Newton meters of torques, it's not bad, you know? It's not bad at all. So, you know what? I'm going to stop here and, and show this car to you because... It's very nice. Is that some clunking sound going on? Yeah, I think he mentioned something about the front shock absorbers, but it could be lower arms as well. But you know what? It's a Nissan, so it doesn't matter. It'll just go. This is like the 4x4 version of my Sentra B13. It's just going to go on forever if you let it. I mean, if you take care of it well enough. No cluck, cluck, cluck sounds or anything. Damn, this is nice. No really bad rattles. This is my favorite testing road because it's a parking lot and has not been uh, refurbished in a, quite a long time so let me just pull over here and show you this car from the outside damn well wait wait since we're inside and the aircon is so nice and cold let me show you this car from the inside as well Second, i don't think this car's got reverse sensors there's a big spare tire at the back there on the rear hatch so maybe that's the sensor you know it's like boom okay time to stop but damn this car okay check so right off the bat i'll tell you that's not stock yeah 
that air intake is actually that well rather hood scoop is actually functional there's holes underneath to cool down the engine but look at this interior i'm pretty sure these are new because i doubt they would have survived this long from 2002 in this possible shape because this this is high use yeah always being touched and they they look brand spanking new so there's the original mileage just 39000 sorry 391000 282 kilometers which is not bad for a nissan engine okay the clock still works is it 420 yes it is it is 420 but look at this look at the seats look at the door cards some love has been given to this car okay it's not original steering wheel but you know what never mind look at that really really nice so let's go have a look at the outside and I'll show you what this 2002 Nissan Toronto looks like. This steering wheel is not too bad, except this is like needs to be readjusted. Yeah, I'll, if I get it, I'm definitely putting a cubby hole here because it's already got a Kenwood player. But the dashboard is all really nice. And uh, you know what? While we're at it, let's have a look at the engine, which is down here. Yeah, I think that's that's done. Look at the door cards. This this car has receive some love that's for sure look at the back seat a little bit of a stain here but other than that superb absolutely superb you know i'm gonna save fuel because i'm down to a i'm down to a quarter so let's turn this off oh yeah nissan you gotta press this little knob to pull out the key countless have been broken because oh that still works because they were just trying to yank the key out here we go so oh wait i think uh i've got to move this to yeah to open the back hatch check that out and there we go so yeah still with the the boot struts still work yeah it's not gonna fall on my head yeah Check that out, Nissan Genuine Parts. You're joking, it's got the toolkit. Okay, maybe just one tool inside. But there we go. Nice, original carpeting at the back and this is probably aftermarket. Very, very cool. But you wanna, wanna, you wanna see one of the best things? Yeah, let's close this. So this is what, I mean, what he meant about the paint, yeah? Not so great. One of the best things about this, is that locked? Yeah, that's locked. That's the original steel rim bussy that came with the car. Okay. Check out the two-piece Volk racing alloys on this thing. And you know how old school is old school? That's old school. Oh wait a minute. Oh it's automatic. Alright, sorry, I had to I thought you had to lock the hubs yourself. But yeah, original Nissan Torano Bulba in front. Not original hood scoop, but it's functional because there's actually a hole in there. And I can actually feel the heat coming out from the engine now. As long as, you know, when it rains heavily, the water doesn't touch any of the electronics. Yeah. If this was just a, a you know, stick on uh, with double sided tape or stuff like that, I would have taken it off if I was the previous owner. But he also noticed it is a functional hood scoop. There is an engine to, to, to uh, cool down the engine. Now, let's see. Let's get this open. You save about thousand plus. To work out cheaper for me. Three four thousand. Two one five, even more. You save for two hundred plus. Four hundred bucks of savings. Uh, thank God that the brothers on the rise now. Endless celebrations all in my house. Yeah. Levitating now, I'm super duper fly now. Yeah. Let them boy, but they see where I reside now. Put the time in while you always yelling time out. And the quit it, cause I know I'm coming with it. Ha <laughs> ha! No wonder there was such an intake sound. 
look at that yeah that's definitely not original and there's the hole in the bonnet that I was talking about it's it's actually been quite nicely done and if the rain comes in it should go here right but if it goes here not good so yeah might have to do something about that maybe a, a shield or something that doesn't crash into the cylinder head but there we go longitudinally mounted four cylinder engine rear wheel drive unless you lock the uh no, sorry automatic locking so yeah it's a it's a bona fide 4x4 it can go off-road it can and will go off-road this is your here we go two-wheel drive four high and four low neutral and four low five speed manual gearbox six if you include reverse sorry stupid joke but i just can't get over the interior of this car it's so nice really really nice does this still work yeah still works cool beans Look at that. Look at the door cards. Really, really. Some love. Some love has gone into this into this car. I love the fact that they put the uh, door handle up here. So it kind of looks like a coupe. Yeah, these door cards have definitely been redone. No way these are original. Very politically incorrect uh, ashtray right here. Both doors. So sweet. Very, very nice. And I love these tires with the white uh, lettering around them. Yokohama Geolander. All-terrain S. So there she is. The Nissan Turano from 2002. This is as old school 4x4 as they come. I'm not sure if those spotlights work. But that you know what? That really doesn't matter to me. The fact that the body is so straight. The fact that the interior is so nice. And... It's a Nissan. It's a Nissan. What could possibly go wrong? <laughs> that looks very new. Yeah. Oh, and a new battery too. The, again, that battery looks a bit too small for this car. So, might have to have a look at that. Right, so there she is. Uh, one of the early SUVs in this country. A bona fide 4x4 type SUV. I'll show you what I mean about, or rather what the owner means about the paint it's nicely patinaed and to a point where some of it's coming off but you know what if i bought this 4x4 i would definitely be taking it off-road which means i don't care about the paint and i might just leave it like that but it is beautiful always like the Toronto. the nissan range of uh, suvs old school suvs if you remember there was the Toronto, there was the nissan patrol and the Nissan Safari. I love the Petrol and the Safari, but they are huge. Too big, way too big. So this is just the right size, if you ask me. <sighs> iconic, these iconic slats. I have no idea why they did it. It's, I don't think it's functional. Oh, wait a minute. Yeah, it is, it is functional. But uh, these are so iconic. This is, this is what uh, separates the Torano or how it makes the Torano instantly recognizable those slats <laughs> it's so weird it's like this part of the car was designed by somebody else this part was somebody by somebody else it's like the front end almost doesn't match but it does it just works it just works and this is as old school as they get in so far as uh four by fours are concerned look at that separate bumper from the rest of the body nowadays uh cars have bumpers that actually meld into the body like like that but these are solid separate bumpers and yes i think the previous owner had a dog that's one way to always tell if the previous owner had a dog dogs love to chew on that i have no idea why but yeah and again don't go for cheap tints this is what happens right so you know what i think i'm gonna take the car for a wash even though it looks like it's gonna rain i think i'm gonna take the car for a wash and try and see if the paint is salvageable 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 yeah there we go yeah this might need to be changed as well but you know what if the car gets painted this can easily be redone all this can be redone as much as possible try not to be too invasive when it comes to uh, painting a car try not to tell them to rip this all off and paint it properly because they can actually mask this and then later paint this black and it, sh and it should be okay the thing you want to do when it comes to old school cars 
is not be as harsh as possible when it comes to doing it back up again. Do not take off body panels. Do not take off trim bits. It's not necessary. Okay, a little bit of rust here. So yeah, maybe, maybe one outside coat and get rid of all this horrible, horrible cheap tint. And this car would be looking great. I mean, it already looks really great. So there you go. 2002 Nissan Terrano, folks. What do you think? Yay, nay, may, bay. I'm so excited. It's so nice driving this because it really brought back memories of my Jimny. I love that Jimny. And Jimny's are now holding their value really, really well. That's some going for like 30,000. I bought mine for seven and sold it for eight. Damn, should have kept it. But there's always a second chance, like I always say. Some of you who have been seeing some of my videos saying you missed the car that I, that I just recently uh, acquired and done up. Get it, get another one, get another one. They're out there. If you miss it, get it. YOLO, life's too short to drive boring cars. Damn, this is nice. This is really, really nice. I can't believe it's 20 years old. Look at this. Dashboard all nice. Interior really nice. You know what? This is a keeper. This is a keeper. You know, I think I better make an offer to the to the owner before he changes his mind. Love it. So anyway, hope you've enjoyed that. Thanks for following me. Our PM is making an announcement, a very important announcement in two hours. So I want to be there for that because, you know, things are not going to be the same after today. But I'm glad you managed to join me on this little... Are those speakers? Yeah, those are speakers back there. So cool. Oh yeah, you know what? To alleviate my depression of a possible CMCO coming back or MCO or EMCO or EMO or whatever it is, I might just put some money down on this and decide later. Secure it before somebody else does. Nice. Thank you for watching. Stay tuned. Bye. Oh, thank you for asking whether I was okay. I'm fine. I just, I didn't get much sleep the night before the uh, Satria 1.3 drive. I'm perfectly fine. Okay, relatively speaking. Take care you all. Bye. Howdy folks, so as you can see, there's a lot of work being done on the Ford Laser. Yes, every single panel, every single body part has some cementing work going on. So it's one of the most extensive, especially the roof. Look at that, the, pretty much the whole roof had to be redone. The bonnet, so much. Hi bro, apa kabar? Sehat? Banyak ah kereta, kereta ni. Wow, a lot of... I knew it was going to be a lot of work, but not this much. They're practically... I mean, the whole car needs to be redone. Every single panel, especially the front fenders. You, look at that. Wow, really. So anyway, hope you enjoyed this quick update. Stay tuned. MCO starts tomorrow. Not sure when we're going to see this car again, so... But I'm pretty sure once we see it again, it's going to be a lot better than it is now. Yep, this is just the process. If you don't want to see this process, don't come over and visit the car while it's while it's being done, yeah? Stay away. Take care, y'all. Thanks for watching. Bye.